David Dobrik has posted another apology video and longtime friend Natalie has spoken out. Let's get into it. Fans who've been keeping up with the vlog squad over the past couple of months know that there have been multiple allegations of sexual misconduct against various members of the group. A few weeks ago, we covered former vlog squad member Seth Francois's accusation that David pressured him into filming a non-consensual video where he was tricked into kissing Jason Nash. And then just last week, Insider published a revealing article where a woman claimed she was allegedly raped by one of the group's members, Dirty Dom, while filming a vlog squad sketch in 2018. We covered these allegations in another clever video that we'll link above for you in case you wanted to catch up on all of this. Shortly after this news came out, David broke his silence about all of this in a video called Let's Talk, where he explained that he's distanced himself from some of his friends, including some of the ones the subject of these allegations like Dom. David's first apology video didn't go down very well with a lot of fans. He has since posted another apology, which we'll get into in just a minute. First, David's longtime friend and assistant Natalie spoke out on all of the allegations. Fans know that Natalie and David have known each other since childhood and have worked together for years now. Many people have even suspected the two dated in the past, though David and Natalie have both denied those rumors. David has referred to Natalie as his sister, but now she's speaking out against David's vlog squad amid these troubling allegations. In a statement on Twitter and Instagram, Natalie wrote, quote, I've spent a lot of time thinking about the recent allegations and because of the severity, it's taken me time to process. Like many of you, I'm upset and angry and do not condone the behavior detailed in the article or any sexual misconduct, abuse for that matter. Natalie continued on and took the side of the victim, writing, quote, I want to make it clear that I acknowledge, hear and support those who came forward and I stand by the victims. And since Natalie posted her statement, David actually uploaded another apology video where he took accountability for his last video not being a sufficient enough way to address this situation. David explained that for the past few days, he's been surrounded by people who have been giving him advice on how to handle this situation. But when everyone finally left at 1.45 a.m., he just decided to sit down and talk to his fans directly. And I've never done this correctly and I've never done this respectfully. And my last video is a testament to that. I, I, I don't want to defend that video. David went on and said he fully believes the woman who spoke out in the Insider article who claimed to have been sexually assaulted by Dom. He also apologized for creating an environment that enabled this kind of behavior and he apologized for putting up the video in the first place, even though he later removed it. And I want to apologize to her and her friends for ever putting them in an environment that I enabled that made them feel like their safety and values were compromised. David continued and explained that in making videos that had shock value, he didn't realize he was creating a quote, unfair power dynamic. And in hindsight, he understands that he was quote, completely wrong and wishes he was more responsible and aware at the time. David also dove into the specific allegations regarding Dom and the woman who spoke out against him and took responsibility for not knowing what was going on between them during one of his shoots. I didn't know what was going on in that room and I should have been. I should have been there and I should have been making sure that everybody involved was, was taken care of and wasn't uncomfortable. David expressed how disappointed he is in himself that people felt that they had to stay silent for the sake of his video and apologized again to everyone for taking Dom's word in these situations in the past. At one point, David got emotional when discussing how he wishes he reached out to the people involved in these allegations sooner and apologized to them for enabling this sort of behavior. And that breaks my heart knowing that, that I was doing all this stuff and I was making all this content while there was people that were still really hurt by what I made. David concluded by apologizing to everyone he's let down, including his family and his friends, and announced he would be taking a break from social media for a bit. He said he wants to get infrastructure in place like a human resources department so people have a place to go to voice concerns and not feel like they are being silenced. And during this time off, David said he's available to talk to anyone who he's hurt in the past and wants to have these conversations and understand because he quote, still has a lot of learning to do. Since David posted his video, he began trending on Twitter and more brands like HelloFresh, Frank's Red Hot, General Mills and SeatGeek have announced they are no longer working with him. Fans have been mixed on whether they think David's apology was sincere and genuine or if it had something to do with him losing sponsors and followers. We'll keep you guys posted if David speaks out again or if we hear from Dom himself. For now, if you want more on this whole situation, click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know your thoughts on David's second apology and Natalie's statement in the comments section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on Instagram at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.